Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Dragon Lords. Holy shit, my hair sucks. <laughs> hey guys, I got a new rope dart. So if you're familiar with this channel, or if you're familiar with me, or if you're familiar with both, you probably know about how much I love the rope dart. And the one I've been using has been with me for the past three and a half years now. I got it in the summer of 2019, I remember, and I've been using it ever since, and I loved it. I had it for three and a half years, and it served me well, but over the years, it started falling apart, you know, through general wear and tear and using it. So I figured it was time. You guys ready to see this? Here he is. It's beautiful. Look at him. After three and a half years, I finally got another rope dart. All right, rope dart review real quick, but I mean, there's really not much to uh, say here about this. It's just a rope and a dart. But most noticeably is this. Look at that pattern. I don't know what this design in English is called, but Look at that pattern. Now, the old boy here, holy shit, look at that difference in color of the rope. This is my old dart, if I can just get it to focus. Very beaten up, right? But you could tell it's just a very simple dart, right? Just cylindrical, whatever you call it, right? It's like a cone. But this bad boy, yo, he's got like these nice edges, these nice, uh, dude, I, I haven't taken math or geometry in years, so I don't know what any of this is called. Frick, man. The, the, these polygons, bro. This is like a, a fucking low polygon rope dart. I bought this actually for this pattern. Holy shit. If you would just please focus on the dart for one goddamn second. Thank you. I actually bought this bad boy just for the pattern on the dart. So, you know, I figured spice things up a little bit. In comparison to my old one, is one thick boy. Noticeably bigger, thicker, but also this bad boy is a lot heavier. You know, if I were to just go by feel, I'd say he's about twice as heavy that poses a very interesting uh question how would it affect the use right because having a heavier dart is actually easier to use right because there's going to be less drag more weight it's going to be a bit easier to control so when you shoot it out towards an object right more likely more often than not it's probably going to go in a straight line just because of how heavy it is rather than it like flying off or you know creating drag or like air resistance or whatever, right? Because it's heavier, but it also makes it more dangerous. If I get hit by this boy, it's like, okay, that's an ouchie. If I get hit by this boy, I might be dead. Still very excited to try it out. A part of me is dying on the inside because I know he's gonna end up looking like this with all these freaking dents and like all these scratches and everything, right? I mean, I really, really don't wanna do anything with this. It's just so aesthetic, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Fucking, I have to say this rope, honestly, honestly, honestly does not feel as good as my old one, right? But hey, who knows? It might be better for the hands, it might be easier to use. So the next question now is how the hell am I gonna attach this flag? Cause it also came with the red flag, which is really nice. So I actually have no idea how to tie a flag to a freaking rope dart, right? Cause you know, there's all these loops and stuff. Like, do I tie it to the string? Do I tie it to the loops? Do I tie it to the dart? Like, I don't know, bro. Like, what I do with this? I fuck if I know, dude. I just mess around and like, this is what happens. I don't know, I might have to uh, search that Chinese internet. Interesting. How did he do it here? All right, we're going on instructables.com. Let's go. Uh, okay, just looks like tape. So my man just took it and literally taped it onto one of the hoops. Huh. See, the thing is, there's not a single goddamn tutorial on the internet that I could find on how to tie a freaking flag to a rope dart. I don't know, maybe I should create my own once I figure out how to do this. Yeah, one time this oh. is actually like, taped onto the rope, right through the middle of the rope, which is Oh, okay, I see. Okay, so I do want to tie it to the rope rather than the hoops. Do I really want to cut this? I don't know. Screw it, let's do this. There you go. Looking good so far. Okay. That's not bad, actually. All right, no time to waste. Let's try this bad boy out. All right, guys, we out here with my uh, Beijing Wushu team wannabe ass. Uh, really cool jacket from Dynasty MMA, by the way. Let's give this a shot, eh? Oh yeah. Here we 
we go. First time ever using this bad boy. Whoa. This is a lot heavier than the old one. Just gonna get a feel for it. Whoa! Yo, this feels so nice. so nice. The dart is so much heavier, so much weightier, so when I shoot it up, it just goes straight out. There's no like drag, there's no air resistance, it just goes straight out and back. Super easy to control. A lot scarier though too. One, that's a little low two. Whoa, okay. This was bound to happen anyways. No more clean rope. When I use the rope dart, my right shoulder would always get a workout just because of how much it's used, right? Because I'm basically, my left hand is just kind of there to support, right? And this is all right arm. So my shoulder just gets that craziest burn when I train with the rope dart. Now that the dart's heavier, my shoulder's dying twice as hard. I'm gonna move bro, the ground's getting like muddier and muddier because I keep stepping on it and jumping on it and also there's pee pee poo poo everywhere. All right, ladies and gentlemen, final verdict. I fucking love this guy. Let's take a moment here. Okay, ooh, damn. Okay, first of all, damage assessment. Pretty dirty, as expected. Um, no chips or dents. That's because I didn't train on concrete or hard floor, but 
you know, probably gonna get real dented up soon, but you know, I got a little dirty, I'm a little sad, boo hoo, you know, not as shiny as before, but whatever, fuck it, we ball. Rope got a little dirty too, you know, got a little, little mud on it, but uh, it feels really, really nice. Once again, as I was commentating throughout my training, um, the dart is two times as heavy. My shoulder, my right shoulder is just dying, but it's actually easier to control because of how heavy it is, right? Once again, less uh, air resistance, less drag. So obviously I really appreciate the heavier dart for how straight and accurate it is. It's a little harder to control. I'm not used to it yet. So that's why like I'm not catching. Like sometimes mid combo, I, I'm not catching the rope because like I didn't expect so much force. The rope is slightly thinner which isn't that big of a deal, or at least it shouldn't be that big of a difference. It shouldn't matter that much, but for someone who's been training with the thicker rope for like three and a half years, all of a sudden switching to even like a slightly narrower rope feels kind of off. So I'm gonna have to kind of just train with this more and get used to it. Overall, dude, this is a really fucking nice rope dart. I'm so glad I got it. I love it. Nice new addition to the family, my rope dart family. Now has two members. Can't wait for them to make some babies. Look at this bad boy, bro. It looks cool as shit with the shapes and everything. Thank you guys for joining me for this unboxing slash review slash training vlog slash life update whatever the fuck this video is now at this point but thank you guys for watching as always stay safe don't forget to train also keep your eyes open keep your eyes fucking open for the upcoming weeks because uh, we're about to drop some new bangers hint hint nudge nudge uh that's all i gotta say i'll catch you guys in the next video dragon lords out